added into the list and I never got to it. And I think one of the squad have already spoke about it. All right, so I had it bookmark as well. Okay, tackle versus attacks, dissect versus blast, take to task versus slams. Okay, the UK media ongoing harassment of Meghan Markle is both insidious and widely unhinged. High ironic that in their reporting on the dragon lady or type, the British press is using the angry black woman type. I mean, I'm sorry if some people don't get it by now, and uh, I guess repeating will make the make it sink into people's brain and it's very sad to see a lot of the uk people they are very bright very bright people but the media really got them the media really got them when i lost my mum 23 years ago you took me under your wing you looked out for me for so long but the media is a powerful force but the media is a powerful force and the other thing before i started recording i was watching a, a something here on uh, CNN uh, they were reporting about what's happening in Iran and uh, and it got me thinking to say yeah the 2020 election was very crucial because it's the same mindset that's going around the world okay Iran they already got you know that iron grip with their women they got that and uh, you got other places pretty much all made uh, Middle Eastern, they got the grip of, of a woman, and you got the U UK, they got them through the media and some other places. It's just the US that was waiting. And you see what the Roe versus Wade just happened with uh, Supreme Court and stuff. I don't know. I haven't really paid too much attention to see how, well, I guess the midterm election, they're waiting until they could see what they could do next because, uh, yeah this is the thing that uh, they're trying to do but anyway i'll tell you sometimes uh i've said this many times sometimes you don't need those crazy uh military kind of uh, equipment to do certain damages when you get people upset you could i don't want to say things so people don't think i'm tr um, telling people to go do stuff it's not that it's just my i'm trying to find a way to convey my thought so you can understand when you get people angry nothing will stop them pretty much okay to sums up my my thinking right there all right uh, my perfect example to that is uh, in china uh tiananmen square that uh man with who was holding i think uh was it two things he had in his hand one with a bag and what was it? i think it was both hands i don't remember and he stood in front of the tank uh, we don't know what happened to him but when people are fed up people just want to live life just wants to live life they don't want to be shackled by people's stupidity and those people who think so stupid they think they know everything uh, everyone has a mind to uh, to do things, different interests, different hobbies. These are the things that makes the world go round. Because I don't see myself sometimes doing certain things that somebody else is doing. This is what makes people individual. Things that I will hate to do, someone find a pleasure of doing it. So people need to live their life as long, as long it does not interfere with somebody else's life. There's a video, I don't know if I'm going to get to it on this video, I came across where this man in the US, okay, is saying uh, how uh, he feel like, uh, let me see if I could find it and so I could get rid of it, Republican abortion, so there it is here. Let me put it right after it since I'm bringing this topic up. Where is it? All right, so there's this here and I'll come back to this. All right, I'll come back to this since we're in the mind of people saying stupid things and they want to control people's mind all right so there's this here this will blow your mind new hampshire republican senate candidate don baldock says abortion decisions belong okay that's in quote belong to republican quote gentlemen end quote state representative and that quote as a man end quote women quote get the best voice end quote when men decide how to regulate their rights if you there's one video that i did and i read a whole thread of someone who study uh, uh back in the 1500 or something like that how the mindset of men uh the 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 rule of law that they were creating okay these kind of things go listen to that podcast 
I don't know if it's in here I, or if it's for my members only. I don't remember where I put it um, or my other channel. Okay, listen to it. This is the mindset why the, how do you call this? The, uh, oh, the Supreme Court send abortion rights back to states. Why? Because they know when state uh, Republican states are run by men, they know they're just leaving it there uh, for those men to take control of it. And he just said out loud right there. Okay, so let's listen to it because I've said it in one of my video. I think it was that video that I read that whole thread where I mentioned that they just want to send it back to the state with um, to the states because those states have men controlling them, especially red states. Red states mean Republicans. OK, Republican doesn't mean the same thing in the US as it means in the UK. All right. So just to give a little reference here. All right, so let's listen to it. It's 26 seconds. It belongs to the state. It belongs to these gentlemen right here who are state legislators representing you. That is the best way, I think, as a man, that women get the best voice at the state level, not at the federal level. And it's Can you imagine that? A man telling you how to do your feminine thing? So if, a, if women take control of the state... So do women have the right to tell you how to you, you live your life? Huh? Maybe get, uh, how do you call this, when uh, you tie your thing up so you don't uh, procreate and all of this? Vasectomy. Should we tell you guys to do that? My goodness, but let's listen. Really, Senator Hassan doesn't understand this, right? Mm. And she needs to get on board with the Supreme Court decision. Wow. It belongs uh, to the state. So that was their whole plan with the Republicans. Okay. They work hard for it. Let's let's not forget that. They work hard for it to get to where we are now. And now they want more. They want more. Okay. So they get to the point where they take the uh uh look at how they changed Obama. That was a huge mistake Obama did for not uh putting somebody when he had control of the Senate and the House to get another Supreme Court. And McConnell stopped him from doing that. Let me tell you something, guys. Okay. I don't look deep, deep, deep into politics. I just look at the surface and then I move out. Because if you look in every details into politics, you'll go nuts. Okay. You will go nuts. I look at the information that I need to know and then step right back out and put one and one together. Okay, and almost always, I'm always right. Okay, almost always. All right, so that doesn't me saying my political perspective of things, that doesn't mean I know everything. Okay, nobody knows everything. It's just my opinion, humble opinion of things, and I share them with you. And so far, majority of you tends to agree with me. So when I say things about politics, I'm not a political analyst. Okay, just my opinion. Okay? So that was Obama's mistake. When McConnell stopped him, and that was very smart of McConnell. But little did we know, people did not go vote. And the Republican, this is the thing, they always, always vote. Okay? Even though they don't win all of it, but they always vote. And this is the thing Democrats should learn from. Always vote and pay attention to who has your back, your best interest. All right? So that's the best way for you to vote vote and see who has your back has the best interest who's aligned with your uh, ideal way of living this kind of thing so if you imagine you have all the men who have the same mindset of this guy will have the same thing that's going on in Iran okay this is the thing they're all the same like uh, Kenny said in one of his video he understand why men do certain things that they do why they support republican but he cannot understand why women will support republicans uh, he said it so my question is why the fuck should we trust a lily white hoe white women can't be trusted well no kenny don't be so mean to them you know white suburban women are gonna get it together no you're not if you ain't got it together then you ain't gonna get it together now y'all didn't even vote for your own white sister hillary why the fuck should we trust white women and the thing that's really pissing me off is we continue to call all these white women while we keep shitting on black women. We keep shitting on black voters. But we always put all this stock into white women that are never going to fucking show up for us. That's continue to vote against their own better interests. Because why the fuck 
And, when I, and this is the other shit that it pisses me off. Well, shouldn't we tra blame white men just as much as we blame white women? Maybe. But here's the bullshit that I have a problem with that is. I understand why white men are voting. Because white men are voting for their own better interests. Which is keeping power. Patriarchy. It makes sense. But I understand why white men are voting. Because white men are voting for their own better interests. Which is keeping power. Patriarchy. It makes sense. But uh -huh. So that was that with this. So I'm done with it. I don't even need to read the comments. That was my whole point of this. And little did I know <laughs> from talking other things. There. I'm done with it. Alright. Let's go back to the other thing that I had bookmark this okay tackle versus attacks dissects versus blast takes to task versus slams the UK media's ongoing harassment of Meghan Marco is both insidious and widely unhinged how ironic that in their reporting on the dragon lady or type the British press is using the angry black woman trope and the thing is at the same time people who probably didn't see who then see the things that were going, the things that uh, Tina and Michelle were saying from the get-go. Because Tina and Michelle saw it right out of the gate. Oh my God. This is, I was not paying attention to Harry and Meghan, but me, uh, Tina and Michelle saw it right out of the gate. And when I finally notice it, because every now and then I check in to see how Meghan is doing. And I see it's negative. And that's when they got me. Okay, because I was not paying attention to them, so I wasn't aware of their tactic. If I was paying attention to them a lot, I would see the tactic, but I was not. When I finally did, and that's when I start looking, okay, looking for answer. I stumble under the squad, I, and the first one that I stumble, it's either Tina and Michelle, okay, and I was angry, but they were in the game right out of the gate. All right, so I will always have respect for these ladies because they saw it right out of the gate and they did something about it. And look at how the squad have grown. All right, so a uh, little at a time, if people pay attention, now that Megan has her voice, her podcast and stuff like that, uh, when you listen to her podcast, you learn something. But when you listen to those idiots who's reporting on them, people could put one and one together. So more eyes will be open. Okay, let's hear. In the US, People Magazine says, uh, Meghan Marco breaks down toxic Asian stereotypes and, okay, the wrap. And then the UK says, Meghan hits out at films. Wow, toxic Asian stereotypes. Okay, Meghan Marco ta tackles toxic stereotyping of Asian women. Meghan attacks. There's the word here. She underlines the stuff. The key words that will change people's mind, that will make people think. If you didn't listen to it, you would assume what the UK is saying. But uh, the US have to be careful because we could call them to court. And I don't know. The UK, I don't know. They're in the deranged state of mind. If by now they don't get it, I, I don't know what will. All right? So the firm is not for them. Okay? For the people. There's that videos that I put out. And there's some that have been um, approved yet by YouTube. All right? But the ones that I put out the firm other people are saying not just me the firm is not on your side the firm is for the establishment uh -huh. so that's that i'm done with this okay let's see what some of the squad are saying okay as they have a nefarious agenda concerning megan thus not surprising for the level of hate even though her podcast is aimed mainly at the u.s market the uk has enough issue for them to be so invested in what she does 5,000 miles away, their readers seem impervious to that fact clown in the willing eye. <sighs> like I said, the thing is that they see, I hate to say this, I don't want to use the word that also, the way Megan, uh, way of life, okay, and the thing that they're trying to do, like uh, Iran is doing, you know, to the women and stuff like that, uh, they see that as this particular word i'm trying not to use okay so when you hear valentine low saying her, his things out there and i've tagged a lot of uh, when i come across some uh, tweets that shows that wants to spread uh, his message you know i tag the fbi all right um i muted on my video we should not uh one thing we should 
try not to do and I, I thought about it um, because when I did the recording it was a couple days later that I, I've edited it uh, it crossed my mind not to retweet or not to share it because the more we share it other deranged people gonna come come across it and then take it as at face value okay I do not want to say the word I when uh, I think his name is Valentine Law, say his nonsense on national television. And then I've come across tweet where some of the people say we need to share it. No, because the mind out there is not the same as many of us who will rational and rational thinking about it and say one and one, you know, we should not do that. But if it come across, you know, happen and stumble upon one of those people, okay, who might act out. All right, for us, the squad is we will rationalize things, but for some others may not. When it's a negative thing, we should not share it. All right, um, let's see here. Them, the Time, the Guardian, and the Telegraph are meant to be uh, the respectable board sheet of our media. The whole thing is toxic. Yep, wasn't time sued? Correct me if I'm wrong. Let's see here. Okay, probably they all get sued. The Guardian is the most disappointing of the lot, though. Yeah, I've shared a lot of the Guardian's article, but uh, what did they do this time? Okay, since Liz passing, K KC has shown how evil he really is. Liz uh, should have done more to help Harry and Meghan, but I never felt that she wanted them hurt, unlike uh, uh, KC and W, William. You know, I don't want to say him. All right, their cruelty will be the end of the royal family. Harry and Meghan will be wise to stay clear of the UK uh, for a while. Harry has to know uh, his father and brother. Let's just say that. Okay, uh, love comes with a price by now. Yep, especially the thing they they're going full hearted on Harry right now because they know his uh, biography is gonna come out, his memoir is gonna come out. That's why the the same blueprint. These people don't know any better. I'm pretty sure Harry may not say that much of a drastic things on his memoir, but they already assume the assumption already think because who knows? I don't know uh, how much. Well, we know we have a basic idea of how much cruelty they have inflicted on Harry and his family that he's trying to uh, raise. But they already assume writing the book because book is part of messaging is part of communication is part of telling your point of view this kind of thing they already assumed they already concluded that harry's gonna out them there's a possibly harry may not he's probably gonna say the most joyful things he had with the royal family and these people are already attacking him and i'm coming across things that they already said things so negatively i don't want to spread it and i attack the fbi i'm like what did they do to you all right. All right. There has, okay, there has not been any difference in the reporting between then and now. It was even more vicious when Queen was there. Please stop excusing her. She did nothing just like the king uh, is doing nothing now. Okay. At this point, they should be giving a total blackout. I've been saying it for a very long time. And I think uh, with our prayers, I think that's what saved them several times when they went into the UK. All right when i put those positive prayers out there for them the universe takes it over and do what's best for them because i don't think it's safe for them okay they will never change will never see and appreciate her for who she is the agenda is to take them penniless we ignore them and push forward like they have yeah they want them to be in a state of despair so they could have something to laugh about now that they are being successful they're doing things in the right way uh-uh all right it's showing it's open people's eyes to say look you claim you want to be in existence to get your taxpayers money for charity and all of that there's there they are they left you they doing pretty well on their own and then they're still doing charitable work so this is one of the reason why you know it's you know i'm trying not to use the word here they don't like harry and megan they're doing things uh, they showing the foot of their labor, so to speak. Uh, but them, their labor hasn't been <laughs> fruit of, okay, kind of thing. Fruit of their labor or something like that. So that's not good. At least the British media has shown the world what their modus operandi is.
When you are aware of how the power players operate in a country, you are well informed as to how to invest. I'm glad that British media has shown the world what the true face of the country. All right, same garbage from the British media, just a different day, unprofessional, unethical, no character, no integrity. They're the lowest of the low. Hey, people are seeing for who they are. Because before, what the way they pos um, portray themselves, all right, as this high-class society, very well manicured, uh, with uh, well-behaved kind of mentality, this kind of thing. No, that was just a front. They are freaking garbage. Sorry for those who are not, but at least the media, that's what is portraying the world that the UK is when you really look deep. But I know it's not all of the UK. I have to make that distinction. But when the media is talking as if they are, you know, the word of mouth of the people, this is how they make it seems like. All right. Seems. Okay. That's the key word. I'm not saying all of you are, but that's what it making seems like. All right. Um, the same way when you saw uh, the UK, uh, when Trump was in power, you would think it's the entire US that's like that. When in fact, it's not. And we made sure we went out and vote to tell the world, no, that's not us. He's still fighting too because he's in deep shit in the US. So his best way to get out of it is to <laughs> be in president uh, office. So be out of his misery and then he's guess what same thing as the uk uh the royal family do the same thing put himself in deep more shit all right next tweet